Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of the Wild. And I was, you know, pretty bored today, just playing with Pablo, and I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, I've got a puppy, and his name is Pablo. I'll have to show you guys. I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now. And yeah, isn't he cute? He's a uh kind of corso. He's blue brindle, he's beautiful, and he's gonna be a big, big boy. So I looked through some comments and a lot of you guys have been telling me go do a trophy lodge tour. So you know what? Here we are. This guy right here is probably the single most important trophy I have ever gotten. He's an albino male. He's only a silver, but I got this dude with a heart shot from like a meter away. And this right here, this is the line that catapulted my whole channel. Like this is this is why I'm as many subs in a year as I am right now. It's pretty much thanks to this guy. So if you guys want to watch that video, I'm going to link it up in the top right. And it's going to be a, a very exhausting uh, day today because I'm going to have to link every single animal to every single video that they show up in. I might not do that, but for the like special ones, I might try, but it, it's going to be a lot, but I'm going to try to do it for you guys. And this one right here is one of my diamond mule deer. I love diamond mule deer. This one came from Silver Ridge Peaks. I think all my diamond mule deer come from Silver Ridge. Got myself another albino here. This is my second one. My dilute mule deer. We just recently got this one. I wish it was a male, but it's still pretty cool. And also, I tried to look. I don't think there's a, a map map multi mount. So, for those of you who don't know, there is a special kind of thing here. Uh, can I show you guys? Yeah, right here. So, this is map mats multi trophy mounts. So, you've got like javelina ones. You've got um, this one that requires a raccoon dog and a, a willow ptarmigan and crocodile mag by goose so they, they've got some cool stuff sometimes it's different animals sometimes it's the, you know the same species together but i couldn't find one for mule deer which is kind of upsetting so anyways moving on i've got myself a diamond merriam turkey i think this was the first was this the first diamond i ever got i don't remember no 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 it wasn't so yeah i think i got this one during a stream once maybe not positive on that and this guy is one of the few diamonds that I don't have on camera. This one, my video got corrupted and I lost the footage and I was pissed. I was so angry, I was considering quitting YouTube because I didn't have a whole lot of subs at that point. Wasn't really making a whole lot of money. It's just a, I, I was so mad, didn't even want to touch the game again. Thankfully, I kept playing. This is one of my, this is my legacy Plains Bison. I got this guy before they got the true rack update. So to kind of explain what the true rack is, originally for a lot of these animals, they just had certain model types for the horns. Once they got bigger, they had like, you know, a certain look to them. That's it. But with the true rack, which maybe I'll go show you the other one, um, they might be a little bit different. One side might be more different than the other. They can be just a bunch of different things. It's more realistic is what it is. This is just, you know, horns on the bison <laughs> you know they're big but it's it's nothing crazy it's nothing special it's just always gonna pretty much look the same and this one is my leucistic turkey we got this one during a pig only challenge and you know that's pretty cool like i told you guys a lot when i do these challenges i'm gonna take what i can get and when i see something like that i'm gonna take it this one right here might be one of my favorite diamonds it's a gold diamond wildebeest now, I know gold's not really rare for the blue wildebeest, but it's so cool. It is such a cool looking thing. Right here is my saltwater crocodile diamond. I think this is the, this might be the only diamond I've gotten off of Emerald Coast, but I'm not positive on that. I might have a Bantang. Let me go check here. No, I do have a Bantang. Here we go. This is my black diamond Bantang. Oh my God, they are cute. Very nice model for them. This is my piebald axis steer. I almost forgot about that guy. This guy was pretty recent too. This one was when I was using the electronic collar that episode. That was a fun one. And this guy right here, I don't know why he's facing the wall. Let me spin him around. Can I do that? There we go. Now I can spin him. This is good right here. So if you take a look, he's definitely different. He's got some like growth rings around the, the inside of the horns there. Some scars on that. He's pretty cool. I'm fairly positive that he's the true rack one. Let me go double check that. Oh yeah, this one was from a month prior. So this one you see, it's just shiny, slick. That's it, just shiny and slick. Kind of looks a little bit fake. That one is much more realistic. This is a European hare. That's a diamond and I accidentally shot this one. I mean, I meant to shoot it, but I didn't realize it was gonna be a diamond. I, it was just, oh, there's a rabbit, boom. And then yeah, we ended up getting it, even though I'm not really supposed to. Because this was during a deer only challenge where I was taking down every single species of deer in the game, which was a nightmare, by the way. 
So yeah, we also have a stream for that too. So maybe I'll link the stream uh, for you guys because that was a very fun stream and it's actually making a lot of money somehow. I, I looked at it recently. I didn't think much of it. Normally my streams kind of die off, but it just took off like crazy recently. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen that, I'll, I'll link that up above. These right here, these are trolls. I've never gotten a diamond moose, but I've got a, a troll moose and I am fucking pissed. So I, I really like to get one. I'm so tempted to go back to some of those maps, even the ones I don't like, just to try to get myself a diamond moose. And of course, feral goats. I've got three troll feral goats. I'm so mad. I want a diamond one. And this guy right here was the very first troll I ever had. What an ugly little dude right here. He's disgusting looking and I love him. So I'm going to link that one as well, because that one I know what video he came from. This right here is my diamond black buck. This was my first time on Parque Fernando and I can't believe I got him. I just happened to see him and then I spent, I think three hours trying to get him. He just would not come back to the need zone. I was so mad, but I mean, look at the horns on them. So cool. One of my favorite animals in the game and one of the ones I hunt the least. And right here, we've got another diamond mule deer. He's wonky. Now this is a true rack type thing right there. You see how that's a little bit not great a little bit dented in one side is massive the other side is very different yeah that's i believe that's true rack this is my diamond lion i got this during a i think it was a tree stand only challenge and of course i didn't get this guy in the tree stand <laughs> i was running around going to pick stuff up and um yeah i happened to see him right at the end of the video right as i was about to finish and then i chased him down and shot him with a very very risky shot this is my piebald white-tailed deer. I'm pretty sure I got her on Reventuli Coast. I think she was about 30 meters away from the starting location, which was pretty cool. And this is my diamond turkey. I don't know when I got this one. And this is an example of one of the Matt Matt trophy mounts. Actually, I don't like this. Why is this facing like this? Sometimes I used to use these for thumbnails, so I probably had it twisted so I get some good lighting. But yeah, it's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is that in real life, they're not going to be floating in the air like that. You know, you got to have a way to get them up there. So, you know, like for this guy, you could put, I think, iron bars through the legs and stuff like that to make it stable. But, yeah, she's just floating. There, there is no reason that this one makes sense. I mean, look at that. Right here is my diamond fallow deer. Did we just recently get this guy? Oh, no, this is my first diamond fallow. Got this one on Emerald Coast a long time ago. And this is my melanistic bantang. My first and only melanistic I have ever seen, and I love it. I, I was so lucky when I found this. That video is also doing really well. So anything I get an albino or a melanistic in, it just takes off. This right here is probably my biggest, I want to say. I think this is my biggest trophy I've ever gotten. I think he's the max score. Or at least he's max weight, I know that much. But he's just huge. Absolutely huge. And my bighorn sheep. I ended up getting this guy on, I think, Rancho, and I ended up spotting him, and I just took a shot that was riskier than I would have liked, because I'm still not super confident when I take down diamonds. I always get nervous, because a lot of these guys, I don't have any other diamonds of. Like, with a blue wildebeest, if it's going to be a diamond, I don't care. I'm just going to shoot it anyways, even if it's a gold. Doesn't matter to me, because, yeah, it's not a big deal. I already have one. But if it's an animal I don't have a diamond of, I kind of freak out a little bit. And this right here... This is the wall of shame. You guys know this. If you guys have watched me for any amount of time, you guys have seen something get added to this wall. This is the red deer, which is the worst looking red deer I have ever seen. And probably the best thing I have on my wall, actually. This is the first wall of shame member. This was a pronghorn. I got this one with Demon, my buddy. And yeah, I just saw him, took a shot, and I was so impressed with how awful he was, I ended up keeping him. And then that started this whole thing right here. And here's a really crappy moose, but I've got no idea where it came from. I like the I like the antlers, though. Kind of looks like handlebars. Here's a bison. A white-tailed deer, which it's not that special. He's just, yeah, not that special. A bunch of Siberian musk deer. They're just, they're always bad. And I got myself a feral pig that was pretty bad. This is one of my mule deer. Yeah, even the, the small mule deers are still pretty impressive compared to the small whitetail. And there's another mule deer, and I've got one fallow deer. And I, when I say he's bad, I mean he's bad, bad. <laughs> Look at those dinky little things right there. That is awful. 
And this girl right here, this is my piebald female. And, you know, got myself a nice little view right there. Let me show you guys what I get to look at. So, sometimes I'll get up on top here and jump up on my bed and take a look, but... Damn, she is fine. Oh, wait, no, I have two melanistic. This is my second one. This is a brown bear that I was a little bit confused on. I, I was playing a 60-minute challenge on Medved. I saw two bears. I was going to shoot the first one, but he ran off first. And because she's a female, takes them a little bit longer to notice you. Because females in lower levels tend to not scare as easily. They're, they're a bit easier to, to sneak up on. So I had like another extra second or two for her, and I just shot. And yeah, she ended up being a melanistic, which is crazy. And I'm pretty sure that's everything for this lodge. I think I've covered everything here. Actually, I missed one thing. This is a um, gray piebald raccoon, which just looks like a raccoon. And I'm going to say this might be my least favorite trophy that I have. Because it's so boring looking. It looks like a fucking raccoon. That's it. But this one was completely on accident. And once again, didn't know it was rare. Right as I was about to claim it, I realized it was a piebald. So, let's go on to the next place. Now we're at my Spring Creek Manor Lodge, and this was a Southeastern Spanish Ibex. I got this on my buddy's map, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is from mine. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got it from his. He was very generous and gave me this one. And this is my Red Deer Mount. This was my first diamond I ever got. And he is beautiful, but also really ugly. I love the right side. Let me show you guys from here. I love that right side, but it's just the left side does not do it justice. So I'd love to get myself another diamond red deer. Yeah, look at that. This is huge and crazy looking. But this one, not so much. And I believe this is my first pie ball that I ever got. I'm pretty sure it is. And yeah, that's another Matt Matt trophy mount. This one makes sense though. Her feet are touching the ground. His are touching the ground. And you can make that work. If he has some metal shit underneath there. Yeah, you could get that going. Don't know how, but you could. Hey, Pablo. And I've got to have some other stuff around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. This is the only diamond I've ever messed up. I was just winging a shot at this dude. And yeah, I, um, I messed up a little bit. His score was 37.9. I believe diamond is 37.8. But I'm not sure on that. And yeah, I, I got a bad shot on him. But it was exactly one year after starting YouTube that I got that shot. So <laughs> pretty sad. But yeah. I'm pretty sure I've got stuff over in here, but let's check this room out. Nothing. All right, and this is my coyote. This right here might also be one of the most important animals I have. Now, you'll probably say why. I mean, it's a light gray, you know, no trophy thing here, and it's only a female, so it can't even be a wall of shame. Well, that's because I shot her in the butt. I believe this was the first animal I ever taxidermied, and I thought it was funny because I shot it in the ass, and I said, you know what? We're keeping that because... I shot it in the ass, and we're always going to remember this. And here it is. So, uh, yeah, very pivotal moment for my channel right here. Ooh, I forgot about this one. Look at the size of you. This is a light... Oh, this is only a light brown. I don't know why I have it here. I think I thought light brown looked cool, so I grabbed it. But don't think that's rare at all. And this was my piebald white-tailed deer, which, again, I don't remember where I got her from. This is back in February. That was a long time ago. And actually, back where I got this turkey, this was the location I set up my albino lion. This was the original location. I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't even seen that video. So once again, I'll link it up above. But yeah, I set him up right here. And I didn't even know how to change the pose on these guys. So I was very, very new to the game. And last but not least, we've got the Leighton Lake Trophy Lodge, which is, I think, free with the game now. And we've got our most recent one, our albino white-tailed deer. We got her on, I think it was Leighton Lake, actually. I'm pretty sure that's where we got her from. But instead of putting her up on the wall, we decided to put her on the main mount right here because, well, she's an albino. You got to see the whole thing. So we got this guy on Emerald Coast about a week and a half ago, and I was just about to quit the game, turn off the recording and stuff, but I said, you know what? I'm going to reset the time. I'm going to go check out that lake, and you know what? He was there, which makes me really nervous whenever I stop playing now because it's like, oh, but what if I just look a little bit more? What if I just check one more lake? So, yeah, you never know what's hiding on your map, so always take a look around. Don't be afraid to reset the time. And honestly, though, out of the three lodges, this one might be my favorite. There's a whole bunch of open space, though, a whole lot of stuff you can't really do anything with. 
you know, this would be really fun if you could play with Pablo. Like, if you could grab a ball or something like that and throw it, and Pablo could run out and catch it, this would be really cool. Because there's just so much space here. You know, wh why? What would I do with this? I also want to go down and, and play at that lake. Like, having some mini games or something at the lodges would be really cool. Having a range where you could just blast birds out of the sky, but, you know, they don't count for anything, but you just shoot. And this one, you could go fishing or something. Yeah, it'd just be pretty fun. So before we wrap things up, I went back to the uh, the Safari Lodge, and I want to show you guys something pretty cool. If you walk up on this here, there's like a bit of a high point, and if you're on it, you can kind of jump out of the map here. I don't know why I'm struggling with it right now. It's pretty easy. There we go. All right. Took a little bit. I don't know why it took me so long. So now you just pretty much keep running. Now, if you look at the map here, you can't actually see the map. You, you can go to these other locations. So yeah, unlike the normal map, you, you can't really see anything. You don't really know where you are. So if I jump back up on here, you can see that I can't actually break through. Uh, let me find it right here. There is an invisible wall, and this is what you can't jump over. But if we start going this way, I'll show you guys there actually is an edge of the map here. It's just going to take a little bit. And as you can see, things open up a little bit. So there actually is a decent amount of stuff here. I mean, look how far that goes. It's very open. And you've got bushes, you've got fields, you've got trees. So it's pretty well planned out. So I don't really know if they just, you know, copied a section of Rohanga and just placed it here. But there's nothing here. No animals. You can't use your binoculars. You can just run. That's about it. And after running for a surprising amount of time, I think it took me like 10 minutes to get over here. It's a very, very long ways away. And I think it goes 10 minutes back to the middle of the map and then 10 minutes all the way to the other side. So this is like a 20 minute run all the way from one side of this to the other. This place is huge. And you'll eventually end up at the edge of the map right here. I highly, highly advise against dropping off. Do not do that. If you do, well, your screen will pretty much go blank and you can't pull up your menu. You can hear the options. You can hear yourself touching them, but you can't actually see the menu. So it's a good way to get trapped in the game. You have to alt F4 and who knows if you're going to lose your progress. So don't, don't do that. I made that mistake once. Thankfully, I didn't lose anything, but it's, it's not worth it. So yeah, that's the end of the map. Oh, I'm so tempted to jump. I'm so fucking tempted to jump. I'm doing it. Okay, gotta pull up the menu and go to lodge. Go. To okay, good. <laughs> I was I was scared that it was gonna mess up. So yeah, that's uh that's my lodge tour. Hope you guys like that. And hopefully this year we're gonna get a whole bunch of more stuff to add in. I might actually start a completely brand new lodge just for diamonds and a brand new one just for rares. And then I might also do one for trolls and uh, hall of shame stuff. Well, it's not a hall of shame. It's a lodge of shame. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we do this year. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to find out what we do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah, I'll see you next time.